Good day, paint pouring community. I'm just doing another little video as the last few weeks I've been doing lots of experiments on different um, homemade pouring mediums using glue and water. Uh, mainly in Australia because we're having so much trouble getting Elmer's glue or having to pay a very high price for it. So I'm just trying to find some products that may be easily obtainable in Australia that um, us in Australia can use instead of Elmer's glue. So this is another one. I have put videos up on three others that I've tried. Um, so this is another glue that's sold by Kmart in Australia. So it's 250 mils and was $2. So um, obviously I use like I would prefer to get in litre or five litre containers because I personally use so much of it. So what I did with this particular one, I added um, say 90 mils of uh, glue and then I just added 30 mils, approximately 30 mils of water. But I didn't just add it all. What I did is put the glue in and then slowly added the water till it sort of got just a creamy kind of texture. It's not watery, it's just got a little bit of body in it. It may be better um, thicker, but I'm just going with this at the moment for the sake of this test. So it's just the Australian PVA glue and water as my pouring medium. I added it, I just uh, had some paint in the bottom and I just slowly added it until I got the texture of like a pouring cream. As you see, I've only made a small amount up because I'm just experimenting this week and I don't wanna to waste too much paint with doing experiments for you all. But yeah, I've just made up four colors with that particular pouring medium. I have added only one drop of silicone in each of these cups. Again, it's my favorite is the Helmar, $6 Australian made. Um, you can get it off the um, off their site, Helmar. And so I've just added one drop because this is only probably a quarter of a cup for the sake of this experiment. So I'm just gonna do what I normally do because I'm wanting to see how it reacts when I do my, oh! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Husband's making me laugh, doing silly things and frightening me. But anyway, so be a bit quieter, John. <laughs> Love scaring me. And I'm not, oh, anyway, try and concentrate. <laughs> okay, so that was the red, and then I've put the magenta, now just green light. These are Australian paints, global paints. Uh, I think the magenta was the Byron. So that was the lime green, I'm just gonna, in fact, I might just let, oh no, I've got the, no, no, I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm gonna tilt it around as I would normally do. And this that I am do, do my trials on, as I've told many times before, is um, recycled card, heavy. This one's 750 GCM, I think, um, that I get from eBay do tests on it or you can uh, use it to put in a, a picture frame so just tilted that just to okay i am going to use this navy to swipe with just like the darker swipe always seems to darker or red swipes or if you haven't actually got red in there already in there which I have so I'm going to just put that line up there and give it a swipe see how this particular Kmart bought glue in Australia works okay well 
started to get cells already, so that's interesting. Um, just might tilt it off the back a bit. Actually, it's not what I normally do, so I'll just test it doing what I would normally do. So that is now put the torch on it. It's my butane torch. If you've got the uh, brulee torch, I think that's fine too. Oh, it's not crazy time with this particular gun, but anyway. Just gonna do my straight up and down like jelly clusters. is working again. Mm. Okay, so you can see the results with the Kmart bought $2 PVA. The only glue that I haven't had really nice results with is the um, Bunnings bought one for doing jilly clusters, but the Bunnings bought, bought one works well for marble effect. Um, but yes, I've tested a few now, so I'm going through, you'll see my different videos with the different glue tests. I'll put them all up uh, together so you can uh, put the title as the um, pouring medium with glue to let you decide, but that one's... That one's actually quite nice. I think, yeah, that's quite happy with that one. Cells look more like the results I get when I'm using the glue oil. So the question would be if that was a viable option to replace the glue oil, do Kmart sell it in four litre containers or at least a litre container? So I'll have to write and ask them. But I want to see how they all dry and um, go from there. These were other tests that I, I did this morning with the... Um, this was with the Helmar, Helmar glue, but there is another video showing you so this is kind of drying fine, but it's a little bit fractured. So causing a bit of the paint to fracture. So it still may be all right for balloon kissing. You can see it's kind of made some leaf shapes and odd shapes in there, but giving them all trial and error. So that's the results I've got out of the Kmart glue. And that's with um, Byron was the Byron paints was the magenta, and the other colours were um, global. So yeah, pretty good. I think that's pretty good. So I'll see how it dries. Um, thank you very much for your interest. Please subscribe to my channel, and um, talk to you soon.